The American Medical Association now says obesity should be classified as a disease. Bertha Coombs has more on what that could mean for businesses, insurers, and who pays for health care, and more. Obesity has long been called an epidemic, contributing to a host of chronic diseases, with more than 35 percent of Americans very or extremely overweight. Now the American Medical Association has decided it's time obesity itself is classified as a disease. We want to reduce and prevent uh, type 2 diabetes. Uh, we want to reduce the impact of cardiovascular disease. Obesity so interrelated uh, to both of those. The Obesity Society, among those who've been calling for a disease designation, hailed the move. Obesity, which affects a third of the population, is something that uh, people don't routinely discuss with their doctors until it starts resulting in things like diabetes and heart disease and joint disease. It's because of those costly, serious chronic conditions most large employers have been on the forefront of fighting obesity in the workplace. More than a third offer on-site Weight Watchers programs. About one in ten offer incentive payments for reaching wellness goals. More than half also cover lap band and bariatric obesity reduction surgery under insurance benefits. They're going to continue doing that because uh, they're looking at different ways in which to uh, manage and control health care costs and this is just one of many ways that I see them uh, continuing to try and control their costs. Yes, they cover the lap band and most insurance com companies cover bariatric surgery but that's after the patient has already gained at least a hundred pounds over the course of their lives. Boston University's Carolina Povian says calling obesity a disease will now allow doctors to take medical steps before a patient becomes drastically obese. I think this is a necessary step to prompt insurance companies to treat this disease earlier. The AMA's Council on Science and Public Health had actually recommended against designating obesity as a disease, saying it was too problematic to define, especially when you have people who are overweight but otherwise healthy. Still, 60% of delegates decided to approve the measure. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bertha Coombs.